called the uh, Dude Ranch, which is uh, we took a good long look at last time we had them in the right, radio. It's right. got pictures of them naked and tubs and suds. It's uh, it's really damn close to gay Woo. porn. <laughs> uh, they are Blink 182. All Tom, Mark, Blink, 180, F and 2. You're going to uh, Australia, Japan. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been there? Yeah, we've been to Australia and Japan before. We're going over with the Warp Tour mm -hmm. right now in a month or so. And uh, going over with Pennywise and Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, 311, Real Big Fish. Oh, those are nice. all real, uh, real nice guys, except for Pennywise, actually, if I'm not true. But uh, the rest are real fun bands. Oh, definitely. So, uh, Pennywise look, is a fun band. Pennywise is fun. I, I, I didn't see him. I, uh, I, <laughs> I just heard tail. All right, you want to jump in on some of these calls? Sure, let's go. All let's right. Let's go to the phones. Hey! <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> Sasha? Yeah. What's going on? You're 25. Yeah, my husband and I have been married for two years, and ever since we got married, he falls asleep in the middle of sex. I mean, he's stone cold, he's out. I look up, and he's snoring, or behind me, and he's snoring, whatever. <laughs> and, you know, anyway, I'm wondering what I can do to keep him interested and awake longer, you know? Tap dancing. <laughs> how long are these episodes lasting? How long is he sleeping? No. Well, no, I, and how Before long is Before he the... falls asleep. How long are you guys together? How long are we together? You know, well, it doesn't last a whole long... You know, anyway, but uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd say maybe, you know, we're five minutes into the actual, you know, bumping, you know. Does, does he have an orgasm before he falls asleep? No, no. It's no. not, you know, he hasn't even finished sometimes, but, you know. <laughs> he can be by himself and fall asleep. He's tired. Is he very stressed? I uh, know. I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Here, here's the deal. Here, here's where we got to go with this. Is he on any medications? No. Is he drinking when he does this? No. Is he a big, heavy guy? No. Does he it's a good thing, too, because you could be trapped. <laughs> 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 it's here, like, it her, like get one hand free and try to signal the dog to go for go get help. Does, does, he, does he snore a lot? Huh? Does he snore real loud or a lot? Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And does he kind of jerk around at his sleep? Uh, Jump no. Around. Uh, right, the, the loud snoring can be a sign of, a, of sleep apnea. Does he have periods where he sort of stops breathing in the middle of the night and then s picks um, up again snoring? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so he yeah. actually has. Uh, that's called dying, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 Narcolepsy, I would think they would fall asleep. This is like mainly during sex. I understand, but it sounds as though he may have a bona fide sleep disorder. He needs to actually get a sleep study done. Hey. I'm, I'm dead serious. I bet he about could this. stay awake for Claudia Schiffer. I, <laughs> oh, I, bet, he'd stay uh, I bet he'd keep the eyes open. Sasha for that at least one. is keeping a great attitude about this. And the he fact is, hard. you need to, this is this is not physiologic. This is not normal, and you need to look upon this as it a is physiologic. Problem. Is, is that what you're saying? pathophysiologic. It's not normal physiology to fall right. in the middle of an activity like that. Right. And that suggests a sleep disturbance. And the fact that he's a loud snorer is further evidence of a bona fide sleep disorder. And these can be medically very significant if they go untreated. So you've so got to get go to a sleep clinic. A sleep center, absolutely. Right, where he, but who does he hump then? A nurse or something? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's not well, about yeah. the, it's oh, not about the right. when he goes to sleep. It's about I what he's doing when he's asleep. I thought they had to simulate it exactly. No, no Sasha, get him to some medical care. It's actually pretty serious. I mean, it, it's funny. People, when they get into, they have these bizarre things happen. It never occurs to them it could be a medical problem. Right, right. and she's assuming it's her right off the bat of how Would, she should keep him more interested in it, and it's not you. Another interesting oh, that's not five that's not minutes normal. into it. <laughs> yeah, that's not normal? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, no. All right, you guys have a story there? <laughs> Sunny. Hi, my boyfriend and I have been going out for about five months, and when we have sex, he makes me dress up in costumes like Shira or Xena or Wonder Woman. Shira. Xena, the then Warrior Princess. Shira, Lord of the Jungle. Up. I've uh, one of the only animated uh, um, well, I don't want to get into it, but the point is that I rarely fantasize about um, animated figures. But this, oh, this, I was, but this I was one you're fantasizing. Shira Lord of the Jungle was uh, certainly one of them. I used to pretend that I was one of the Transformers, but 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> I used to actually fantasize about you being on a train. <laughs> All right, so he, he wants to get these outfits. What's your question? Well, one time he asked me to dress up like his mother, and it Ooh. really grossed me out. But well, wait a minute, is his mother Shira? No. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, does this mean he likes his mother or what? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't well, even know it's about interesting that. that these sorts of fetishes are often. Uh, this is this is I'm in the territory. I draw the line at mom, by the way. The uh, <laughs> no, but you're uh, but this the, is uh, Wonder Woman and all that. This sounds. is sort of outside yeah. of my Magnum expertise and my area of training, <laughs> but but there are theories that uh, that some of this is a repudiation of feminine parts of himself. And so he really is sort it's sort of a hostile acting out against these fetishes. And uh, part of it it has to do with mom certainly. So. Could it also be if uh Mom was particularly controlling well, or religious. Well, this is actually it, in some theories called the phallic female. This sort of uh, domineering females that uh, are very masculine. And uh, wait a minute, I rented that. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. Oh, that wasn't right at all either. Don't do it, guys. Uh, but I mean, the fact that it, otherwise the relationship going okay. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, uh, it's a fetish, and uh, be careful. It's. Uh, it, it, it always concerns me. It's, it tends to typically be sort of an aggressive acting out, and it's uh, a part of him that sort of he hasn't reconciled yet, and it keeps him uh, potentially out of the intimacy of the relationship, at least to a limited extent. All right, well, hey, here's, here's the way to correct this. I know you think therapy's going to help, but I have a much faster way. <laughs> Next time he wants you to dress uh, like his mom, uh, you have uh, him dress like your dad, and yeah. then you can have a uh, nice wholesome set. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Drew? Uh, like his dad. Like his dad, yes, yeah. not, not your dad. Yeah, that'd be cheating. Or you have uh, him dressed like uh, your mom and you have a weird lesbian encounter. <laughs> How about she dresses up like him and then he can have sex with himself? <laughs> Woo, that is go. brilliant. Glorious and helpful advice we're giving tonight. That's great. Shuck. Hi. Hey. Um, I've been going out with this girl for about several months now, and uh, recently I cheated on her with another guy I met at a club about a month ago. And uh, I found out from a mutual friend that she'd also been cheating on me. It turned out to be the same guy. <laughs> oh boy. Wait. Um, so they. So she. He cheated right. on on. You cheated on her with a guy. That's something to write. She down. cheated on me with the same guy. Right. Boy, um, this guy's getting a lot. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> How did you find that out? Um, I, a mutual friend told me that she, she's friends with both of us, and she just, I guess, thought I had the right to know, so she told me. Wait, wait, I lost it. How did you find out? A, a friend of both of ours, a mutual friend between the three of us. Told you when you asked me. him. And what about her? She, she told me that she had also been cheating on me with this same guy. All right, Drew, listen, okay. we, uh, we can't sort this out right now, right. Uh, but we are going to sort this out right after we take a look at a Blink-182 video. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can email us at loveline3 at AOL.com. Please include your phone number. Woo. All right, Mark Thomas Scott from Blink-182 is here and uh, later on we'll be going out to Sega City to talk to some young confused crap ridden teenager. <laughs> All right. There but, it is. Uh, them. Oh there they are. Yes. Ooh, you can see them too. hopping around. Uh, when we left off we're speaking to Chuck. Chuck uh, has a slightly convoluted story about uh, he. He and his girlfriend slept with the same guy. Right? That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> How uh, trustworthy is a friend that filled you in on this? Uh. I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to experience her trust. I just like I've only known her for about a, two months. The, the friend. Be kind of trustworthy. Oh, are you talking about the girlfriend or the friend that the informed you? The friend that informed is who I. How much can you him. trust your source? Is what they I trust her asking. pretty well. She's a good friend. Okay. Have you talked to your girlfriend about it? About the other guy? Yeah. She doesn't know that I know. Ooh. And she doesn't know that I've been sleeping with him. Right. Uh -huh. All right. So what is your question for us? <laughs> well, I've been kind of. Thinking about having a threesome. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, oh. he's, he's, that's nonsense. What? He's 18, he's confused, his penis is confused. <laughs> it, 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 yes. Should we add to that confusion? 
Well, Add we can chaos try to going? help him. By well, let's even ask these guys. Yeah. I've read your guys' manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> you heard their manifesto? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you what guys meet you to share now? your manifesto? What, anything with the human body's funny? Right, that was part of it. And the second part is masturbate a lot. Uh -huh. We met at a proctologist <laughs> camp. <laughs> right. I'm assuming right. these guys. No, <laughs> my, I understand that. I'm aware of that. But <laughs> I was but I wondering ask where my manifesto was. These guys, <laughs> even, even these guys. Would you, would you, do you think this guy's... Uh, that was me, I wouldn't want to be. I think it's... See, this is weird because we have one. We have four guys that know nothing about these questions. We have you. That I mean, you look at it from perspective. Hang on. I, how would, I, I want your perspective. How okay. would, you, would you, if you were in this situation? If I was in that situation, go ahead, talk to the I, girlfriend. I, I, I don't know. I just wouldn't want it. Ask I, the girlfriend up front. You get her all like. So you try yeah. to reconcile the relationship? No, no. I mean, just ask her up front. He probably sure doesn't. Honest. He probably doesn't want anything oh, to do with the relationship anything. because he already went to that guy. So exactly. he just wants. He just right. wants to Obviously, the relationship with his girlfriend isn't what's important with him if he's sleeping with other people. All right, true. And it's right. our position to to mock him. <laughs> <laughs> but, do you, but do you think that it's appropriate for him then to, to bring these other two people into a more chaotic <laughs> proximity with? No, him? but they're all screwed up. Why can't they right. all just get naked and be screwed up together? I think is what the band is right. saying. It's going to be more trouble than it's worth. But you know, if he if that's his thing and he wants to have a good time, he's still young. He's got time to straighten out his life. <laughs> all right. So be it. Here, here's my position on this. So th there's two issues here. Either he's acting out something pretty serious. I mean, he's a very confused young man who, by bringing more chaos into his life, is going to harm himself more, put himself in, at risk for diseases, mm -hmm. and bring more pain into right. his life. If he's caring about this relationship, he gives one molecule about this relationship. He's going to destroy it by... Well, a, a, a threesome manner. never solved anybody's problems. Absolutely but, never. Uh, Boy, I wish I'd at least tried to solve a problem or two that way. Really. All right, uh, we're going to the Via Phone, which is, uh, where is that? It's in Where's Carbondale, that Illinois, wherever the hell that is. Oh, that's my hometown. Meg, yes. you're 23. What's your question? Um, I've been in a relationship with a man for about six months now, and we have a great sex life, but he's made a little request. He'd like for me to masturbate in front of him. Uh -oh. and I just can't bring myself to do that. We have so much to say in so little time. Go yeah. ahead, guys. This is, <laughs> ah, you you really need to do that. It's, it's just it's it's uh. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just so I understand why. Well, there's a lot of reasons. First of all, as a guy, that would be my favorite thing in the whole world to ever see. I would love to see that. Um, Why? Just, just curious. Just, uh, it's I'm, fun I'm for twisted everybody. or something. Okay. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but, uh, Honest enough. And also, uh, I had a lot of talks with my mom about this because she thinks <laughs> that, oh. that, no, <laughs> that uh, women should definitely masturbate. And if you're masturbating in front of your boyfriend, then he can, you can tell him what feels good for you or what you like. Or uh, okay. all right, that makes sense. And uh, just that's really not him my along reason. The, uh, the What's your <laughs> That's no, that's super good and all, but <laughs> it all boils down to it is just totally rad. I mean, it's just yeah. no other reason. It's <laughs> totally just rad. A, a huge. You. It should go without yeah, saying. No, it's just like naked girls. I mean, you know. Why do you like naked girls? Hey, well, do you it, is, it is the dream of every young lad to uh, get a young woman to do something while she's naked. Oh, right? Yes. You know what I mean? I'm just going to pretend there's a proscenium here. <laughs> <laughs> he's pulling himself out of his home. Uh, I, don't, I get the feeling that uh, maybe Meg isn't up for this. Meg? Yeah. Are you um, up, are you up know, for you this? Kind of persuade me a little bit. Do you feel, do you feel comfortable with your boyfriend completely? Yes, I do. Uh, but I'm just not, I have, I've never had an audience, so I guess that's what I'm not comfortable with. You're not comfortable with it. Do you, do you masturbate alone? Um. You're on national TV, remind me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're in a spaceship, it's fine. We can't <laughs> see you that clear. Oh, I'll just keep that to myself. If you are that's not yes. doing this yeah. alone, you're not going to be comfortable doing it in front of him. If it's something you want to experiment at, See how you feel about it alone. Okay. I, I think it's safe to say she does it alone. All right. <laughs> well, but I got, but, I got but it's bucks. something that she is sufficiently uncomfortable with that she can't even discuss it. it it's, a, right. it's a private thing for her. Maybe that'd be good then to do that in front of someone well, else. I, you know, like, it, to yeah. me, it seems a little intrusive and a little bit aggressive for him to require this. I have a question for you, though. But he doesn't require it. It's you a request. request. <laughs> They're in a relationship. <laughs> Diana, have you ever been asked anything like this? Have I been asked? Yeah. Um, but where I'm at and where she's at may not be the same place. So I think Mark just asked her backstage about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. But if someone's making a request to you, I don't personally think that's a bad thing. Because if he has this desire and he's sharing it with you, he's sharing it with you. It's, he's not going to look down on you for it. He's not going to condone you or judge you for it. 
if he was taking the desire someplace else, you'd have something to worry about. Or if you're so, forcing it upon her. Or if right. he's forcing it upon you. If you can get to the point where you're comfortable with it, go right. there. And if not, not. say no thanks. Yeah. Ring it up. If you're not into it, ring it up. <laughs> All right, Meg? <laughs> we support you. Uh, I you guarantee uh, if she does start doing it for him, and I know how guys work, we have to keep upping the ante. All right, Stacy, uh, 18 San Diego. I went off to college. Oh, email. I went off to college this year. And I wanted to become popular. The way I did this was by sleeping around. The first <laughs> night I had sex with four guys. By the end of the first week, I had slept with 18 guys. Well, oh. uh, 18 different guys. I only used protection with three. Oh. Well, uh, uh. the problem here, well, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Stacy, you there? Stacy? Yes. I can barely hear you. All right. Well, she's weak. Uh, <laughs> Stacy, here, here's, here's the deal. We got to go to break. I want you to lie down and get some fluids in you. <laughs> I think that's already taken care of. <laughs> oh! Something out of you. Please, this is a family show. We'll go out, uh, watch a little more Blink 182, and we'll be back to tackle your tough, amorous question. Yeah, so 213-896-3035. Long distance charges may apply. More Love Line with Blink-182 and Stacy, who's uh, on the phone. <laughs> Stacy? Yes? All right, uh, you slept with 18 guys in your first week of college. Yes. Wow. Right. Yeah. I was just wondering, I have totally ruined my reputation and I just... Oh, really? I, I <laughs> well, not only that, but how are your grades? Actually, not bad. Okay. Well, what's up with your sense of self-worth? I mean, what, what led you to conclude that this was a good way to be social and make friends? Well, that's how I saw it done in high school. All the popular girls were sleeping with all the boys. <sighs> yeah, but not all in the same week. <laughs> <laughs> or they were like... Uh, well, what's the question? See if these guys can come up with uh, some ideas of what she's all about. Yeah. Uh, what, what she's all about? <laughs> no, I mean, this is, this is somebody who doesn't feel good about themselves. Obviously. Well, you try something else to get popular. <laughs> I mean, that's not working. No, definitely the way that, that you're approaching this is definitely wrong. You need to, uh... Well, now I just don't know what to do to change my reputation. Say you're sorry. Well, just it's not uh, so much. <laughs> hey, look, I mean, this is not about your reputation, right. is it? It's about your feelings about your, yourself and your sense of self-worth. And, you know... <laughs> You've just acted out in a way that suggests you feel terrible about yourself. Where are you and now from? you've just reinforced that. You felt more guilty, so you act out San more. Diego. No, like, where was she before that? Did you just move to San Diego to start going to school? Yeah. And so you didn't have any friends there, and so you're trying to make friends like that? Uh huh. And I made great friends with the guys, but sure. oh. the girls now, they leave STD pamphlets and condoms on my doors. And uh, right. Yeah, well, that is something that you definitely have to be worried about and think about because uh, you definitely don't want to start catching things that are out there and you need to protect yourself obviously and keep that in mind. All the guys have told me that they're clean. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's yeah. probably okay then. Hey, no, that's no big deal. Then. Yeah, if they told you it was okay, you're probably cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stacey, you know, what are your relationships been like in the past? I haven't had any. Have you had any relationships at all? Any, 18. You were a virgin when you arrived at college? Yeah. Ooh. And, and then all this began. Uh. What, uh -huh. was, what was your upbringing like? Just normal. You, you were never, uh, you have real strict parents? No. Did you have real over-involved parents? No. Did you ever have an eating disorder? Nope. Did you ever, were you ever physically or sexually abused? No. You were, you were a virgin before you began this um, Until the first quest? night of college. <laughs> this quest. Rampage? Uh, yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Does anybody in your, in your family have uh, mood disturbances of any type? Have what? Like a manic depression, anything like that? No. You sure? Yeah, what, not that I know of. Was this, uh, when you were acting out like this, was this in relation to substance use? Were you doing drugs or alcohol? No. Wow. I just really wanted at, to make friends. She's at college, isn't she? Yeah. Well, wow. college is big. I mean, 18 people out of how many thousands go there, you know, I'm sure you can find your own niche. Yeah. You don't have to, like, hang out with those 18 people. Yeah. But, uh, but now everyone knows. Everyone no, no, in the whole does everybody I know? doubt that they ran a Xerox copy off. Yeah, I mean, how, how, how big is the student body of this, of this college? Oh, actually, I'm not sure. How many thousands? 
I'm, I don't know. She doesn't know. Is what college is it? I'll tell you. Barbizon. <laughs> what it's, 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 it's a junior college. There's 18 isn't it? people in the class. Is it a junior? <laughs> it's a bartending school. Actually, yes, it is a junior college. Which one? I don't want to say the name if that's okay. Hey, wow. was it Palomar? <laughs> because huh? she's making this up. You go to Palomar? That's why. I, I'm making this up. No, I said, did you go to Palomar? No, no, no. He's talking. Okay, listen. Oh. Okay, listen. Well, well, what are you studying in school? Sex I'm ed. undecided right now. <laughs> I think if you want to continue to go to the school, you got to focus in on something else. Why don't you focus in on what you're there to study for? You'll find your own group of friends. Just stay out of other people's beds. All right. Bye. Bye. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't understand this whole reputation, everybody, this and that. And I don't understand what the hell. I think Stacy was full of crap. Absolutely. She was a virgin. Uh, that's how everyone made friends at college. I mean, at high school. <laughs> how do you go through your high school uh, career being a virgin, then you sleep with 18 guys the first week? You can't remember what school you went to, how many students are there. Can you give us an estimate and don't know what you're majoring in? Well, well wait a minute. I went to junior college and didn't know any of that stuff. Either, so. <laughs> And I did you didn't go away to go to your college, way, did you? No, not really. I just went there to score. All right. But you know what? Here's the deal. Here, here's the deal. Is it? Is it when things? Canola bars, all but you. Look, I don't know the fact is, we about. can tell when somebody's making stuff up because if it doesn't add up, it doesn't add up. You know what I'm saying? When people make up calls and try to try to. Uh, pull stuff over on us. Why you have to wreck the fantasy? Well, but the, the I know. Point. I can't believe people you guys live in San Diego. They're I know. Know. But the people the behavior is actually going pretty predictable. They're going to enroll and, uh, with Palomar. If it doesn't make sense, January if it really doesn't add up, it's because well, it's not really happening. They could be afraid person. to tell some info. Which well, might right, be yeah, I, 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 I don't know if, 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 if it's bogus or if they're just scared and not talking or they're not telling you or they're spicing it up. or he's quitting the band and going back to college. Yeah, I'm going back to college now. <laughs> All right. Uh. No laugh from the audience either. Come on. <laughs> hey, where's that Come button? On. Come on. Where's the, where's the, where's the applause where's for the, the stupid guy button? All right. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank Blink-182 for coming yeah. in. I want to thank Dan Farr for doing a wonderful job as usual and uh, getting her claws out. For that last claw, yeah. that last claw, that's call. That's the uh, that's the Japanese pronunciation <laughs> of call. <laughs> and uh, until next time, this is Am Crawler for Dr. Drew saying, Mahalo.